Alrighty, let's play some full here. Is sound? You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> See these horrors and do nothing. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. All right, all right, all right. So hold on, let me bring this in closer. There you go. I would probably. I know we're going back and forth on this, but like he's just on the edge of that eye. I think it will probably be okay to bring him in just a bit more. Just getting, you know, the, the eye is actually fully in there. Just kind of uncomfortable unless you will go something like this. But again, it just feels slightly uncomfortable there. So I would just bring him in just a bit more. And it helps. And then, and if you want to get out of this responsibility even more no while this whole shot is happening, you could have like a, a slight, slight pan over. You know, I mean, that could be something that could be done afterwards with the camera. Now, animation wise, there are two things. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> There's something where like the mouth is just a bit you know too, like. turn the sound off. It's, it's very broad in terms of when he talks, in terms of how low, how low can you go? Like how far down you go with the jaw, especially when you come back up to end on the linear key. It just makes it very poppy and chattery. Same thing here, you open. And I actually, I never animated with this guy. This feels more like a translate than a rotate. But it's it's still, it's it's fairly broad. And especially here, it gets into very poppy things when you have something this wide and then closes over one frame. And it's the same thing here. Like this, this just gets really big. This is more like, someone yelling. But given his energy, like you're like within like, this and halfway this realm and again you just especially something that prominent you don't want to go down and, and hit a linear key especially here it gets really fast and poppy like this is a one frame pop turn again it's just maybe it's supposed to be enveloping but it just looks like it's a translate versus a rotate which is kind of weird it just goes too too far in the up and down and then the other thing is it seems very hiccupy in what the chest and the head are doing like it is especially through here and you can track the nose if i go onion skinning here and i know there's a rotation in the head as well so it's not just the body here whoops that was that was some lazy tracking on my end we there right there right there oh, so you can see here just the way this is so boring to watch but something you have to do on your end as well track all this and you can kind of see the speed changes and the kind of the up and downs of that nose it just gets very messy and dirty and it's the same thing here and sometimes it's, it's more visible when you scrub like for you as you test and you go fast you can see it too like for instance here as that nose goes up, we go up and up, and then we hit that wall. Now he plays in real time. Boom. So that to me is the, the biggest thing. Like a lot of hard edges in terms of what the head is doing, even on the down here, boom, right there. You can see how track that part was trickier. What is my awful tracking? Bam, this really hits this invisible wall right there. Other than that, like I like what you have. You know, in terms of him looking down, having the tremors there in the mouth, had a little shake there, like a, a, like no, 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 over with the lean, and then coming back and being in there. You might even get comfortable with something like that, framing-wise. Could go even further, give this cut even more of a punch in. I think this might be too much. Could almost do it between these two. You could almost go and you have it like, kind of like that here. Just a really pushed out, you know, and then you get to see all your, let's go back here, your uh, eye darts, which are really, they're a bit too busy. Like this gets really high frequency. Like your darts will be dart, 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 dart. And this is now pop, 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 pop. There's so much stuff going in there. So I think that's the general feel of this submission is that it's just 
it's cool. I like it. There's good stuff in it. It just has a layer of dirt. If that's a, a word to use. Where just things get very messy. Just arc-wise and spacing-wise. Where it just feels like there are too many keys. Like for something that would have, you know, like some curves. You suddenly have too many here keys. And then something in here. And then something in there. And, and it gives it that stuttery feel. That's the biggest thing to me. Other than that, if you look at... Let's check in here. Eyebrows. Same thing here. Right through there, it gets a bit busy. There's a lot of stuff going on in the middle. Also, generally, when you have like big eyebrow moves, you want to pin those outer brows and do mostly inner and mid and a little bit up and down. So if, if that's your brow and then... Oh, let's put it here. Like That's your brow here, right? And then the brow goes up. It's mostly like that where... You're going to have a lot in the middle, of course, the inner, and then like the outside, like this point can go maybe to here to pin it a bit, give it some fleshiness. But once you start moving everything, it just feels like this big chunk of geometry moving up and down. So watch out for that too. It feels better here. See here, you got it. But this feels better. It's mostly the inner and the middle. Maybe it's just an angle thing because that is the way it's modeled. It helps that this is pinned here. But I would still be careful. I still see a lot of right there. I don't tone that down there. I'm watch out at the very end. You just everything just has a really sharp boom stop in everything. And this could be because it's visually the whole head stops, which then the eyebrow maybe it's supposed to pose like on the same key and then inherits that sudden stop. So I would say that is that. Now I'm gonna look at the other one and bring back this sound here. In love with your brother-in-law. You're in love with your own brother? The one in the army? No, your sister's husband. Michael. Michael. No, that's your sister's brother. No, I'm my sister's brother. You're in love with me. Me. I'm in love with Tobias. My brother-in-law? <laughs> that's a long clip love though. So my concern for this, you have 16 seconds of this where that's cool in terms of mechanics, but one of the issues is that this is straight towards camera. Imagine that horse would come from here and go here. So we have more of, you know, the backside here. And you can see one more leg, a bit of a tail, something, something. And a bit, you know, part of that neck. And then the head there. That's my horse, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even it comes in from the side and then and then kind of rests. You know, so you're, you're starting. Like, that's your ending pose, but a bit more over. Because right now you go through that and it's... Like, there's no more change. There's something weird that's separate here in the backside in the middle. But it's mostly that. And then the other guy, there's good stuff in terms of how wide you go in terms of this. Put some it's getting back here. Like there's, there's good change there. But what I'm looking at this, what I would do is bring this over, right? Bring the butt over there. It's a bit more three quarters. So we get to see the nice full mechanics. This is almost like some guy with legs. <laughs> with the horse costume. I mean, you don't quite see the structure. In love. And then once... I'm in love with your brother-in-law. You're in love with your own brother? The one in the army? No. Maybe till here. Maybe till army. And then after that, to me, it seems like, oh, okay, okay. Let's... Yeah, I can zoom in and pan. So let's just do it messily like this. Okay. <laughs> More like that. No, your sister's husband. My I mean, you could even go, even go more. Michael. Michael. No, that's your sister's brother. No, I'm my sister's brother. You're in love with me. Me. Then you would have to. I'm in love with Tobias. Yeah, for her ending there. Whoops. I knew that's gonna happen. This was my multiple screens here. My brother. And right. So for her, it's mostly within that region. And if you go after him, brother, the one in the army? No, your sister's husband. My your sister's husband, and then you can cut to him, and he is more. Michael, Michael. No. Might be tricky because how far down he goes. It might just be slightly adjusted, but I mean, if you go by thirds, it might just be more like this, right? If you want to keep those, my crappily drawn thirds here. But if that's him, sister's husband. Michael, Michael. It would still work. See that he's still. Uh, where is my delete? 
There you go. So that would still work framing wise. No, that's your sister's brother. No, I'm my sister. Then if you go back to him, right, it would have to be more like that. No, I'm my sister's brother. You're in love with me. Me. I'm in love with Tobias. My brother in law. So and then the other thing is it it doesn't mean that you're gonna have to cut I mean, if you're doing this, this is, this is a wild suggestion just because, you know, you're starting to disregard or I'm throwing away half of the animation, right? But you also don't have to go back and forth whenever she is talking, cut, he is talking, cut. There could also be a moment of, Michael. No, that's your you know, when he goes here, Michael. we stay on her. Michael. So we, we just watch her listen to what that guy is saying. Anyway. Just throwing that out there. No, that's your sister's. Because right now it seems like let's turn this, the the audio off. It's a lot of um, talking heads, and because there's nothing else going on in terms of mechanics of a horse, it's almost like hmm, this is interesting. I like it because it's fun to have. You know, it's not just a human, but at the same time, you could also totally just do this with humans. Like, what's the point of having? A horse in here. I know this is this is a silly thing because you can use any rig. Like why not? Like why wouldn't it be two horses talking? It's always it's actually more interesting than because you usually see humans. But the bummer is that you're using this fun rig, but then we only have this in terms of body mechanics, and after that, it's mostly in here. And I think if you're doing this and we're not seeing more of the horse maybe turn, and maybe there's something in here where the horse then rests. Imagine she rests her her head. On this is all like bummed out. Like, why, why, why am I listening to you if you're being so obtuse? You know, where you use the set and we can play with with the scene and she moves around and, and we see more of the horse mechanics. If it then ends up being just talking heads, that's why I'm mentioning. Well, then let's just focus on the heads. Then let's start cutting back and forth so you can really highlight the awesome facial animation. If that makes sense. Anyway, it's a, I know it's a very destructive note, so I'm gonna leave it at that, and then you can tell me what you want to do, how you want to proceed. Um, and I think cutting would also help, you know, the 16 seconds of constantly one thing. Because imagine, I mean, you can take this now and just, and just cut back and forth. Do this play blast, put that into whatever software you have, and then zoom in and see how that feels when you cut back and forth. And this could be both of them, then cut to her, and then cut to him, and then cut to both again. You know I mean, like you can do a bunch of stuff, and you can see how that feels, and the energy is going to be higher because you're going to see this shot. Go, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, okay, we're staying with them, we're staying with them. Okay, okay, okay. Versus, okay, that's cool. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, close up. Oh, another close up. That's funny. Oh, we're back to you know them, them both. Oh, final close up, and you know new acting and blah 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 blah. I think that's going to keep that energy of the shot up instead of, of 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 staying 16 seconds with one long thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to leave it at that. Tell me what you think, and we can go from there. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.